Hello, my name is George Dory. I'm part of the technical service team at Brooks Instrument. Today I want to talk about how you can utilize your Brooks Instrument thermal mass flow controller to potentially prevent damage to a bioreactor batch recipe. What I'll be demonstrating is an alarm called a restricted flow alarm. It's often referred to as a choked flow alarm. This alarm can alert you to the loss of flow due to pressure droop or other causes of restricted flow. This alarm can then be tied to your PLC control system, allowing you to quickly address the issue. I want to start by showing a few screenshots explaining how the restricted flow alarm works. As you can see, this shot shows a normally flowing mass flow controller. Valve drive and flow are smooth and steady. As you begin to see a loss of inlet pressure or pressure droop, the valve automatically opens further to maintain the desired flow. As the pressure continues to drop further, you can see that the valve responds by then opening to its maximum value in an attempt to maintain flow. At this point, the flow drops and the restrictive flow alarm is activated. This will then alert your PLC control system. To address droop in a regulator, it is best to set the inlet supply pressure while flowing at 100%. This will assure the device has the required pressure to achieve all flow commands. The restricted flow alarm can be the result of a closed valve, a loss of supply pressure, regulator droop, increased back pressure, or other restriction in the flow line. Now let's watch a device in action. I'm going to simulate pressure drop by adjusting the inlet regulator until the device is affected and activates the restricted flow alarm. As you can see, the valve is responding to the pressure droop by opening further in an attempt to maintain the desired flow. As the supply pressure drops, eventually the device will be unable to achieve its requested flow and the alarm will be activated. The PLC will receive this alarm and allow for the problem to be quickly addressed. Now I will increase the pressure back to the correct value that the device was specified to operate at. On most bioreactors, this is approximately 35 PSIG. As you can see, the valve responds and correct flow is immediately reestablished and the alarm automatically resets. The restricted flow alarm is configurable by the end user. You can configure so that it activates at various levels of error band from the desired flow and after a set period of time. 